So much bad blood here. Wasting little time to get this thing started. Here we go. These two are at it. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The official needs to get control. The official doing their best. And maybe we will get some semblance of control and a bell. Here we go. Tried to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. And yeah, these two did not want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally able to get things under control. After a shotgun attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. But should we really be going through with this match after what happened before the bell? Well, if you want to go stand in the way of these superstars, go for it. From where I'm sitting, it doesn't look like there's any stopping them. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Just got thrown around like a sack of you-know-what. He got whipped into that corner. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Countered it just in time. Big boot. Vicious. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. He took a shot at King Harley and didn't miss. Yeah, just like Taker to prove why he really is one of a kind. And he was ready for Undertaker. He's heading back to the ring. Oh, close line. Big forearm. If you're grappling with Harley Race, you have to do everything you can to avoid his ground game. It's all about hit and run tactics. You can't let him grind you down in the middle of the ring. Yeah, letting Race get control and take you down to the mat sounds like a true recipe for disaster. Oh, from the rope. Climbing up top, he's got big play. From the top, all the way to the outside. No matter who you are, when you crashed on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, no, 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 no. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Somebody better check his nose. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. Oh, boom! This match grinded him down a little. And he's able to counter. Back and forth from these competitors. Down with the vertical suplex. Taker with the counter. What a headbutt. Vicious. <laughs> Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Big right hook. Leg drop. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. He's taking this to the floor now. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Bang! And Race gets stonewalled. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Ooh, hello. In a big boot. Six. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. Oh, colliding with a barricade. And guys, that just made Undertaker look a bit more mortal as blood starts to stream down his face. Into the corner now. In the corner. And an elbow for good measure. Great awareness by the dead man. And just planning them with that DDT there. 
Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Ooh. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Harley Race has him marked. Uh oh. tricks and unorthodox tactics that win the day this time. I bet their opponent learned a thing or two in this one about watching their back. I bet they did. Next time it might not be so easy to steal the match. A standoff here in the uh, middle of the ring. You can feel how bad these competitors are ready to go at it right now. And oh, look at this. Handshake offered and accepted. It's the calm before the storm. These two are going to go at it. Great sportsmanship to start this thing. But I think it's pretty clear these two competitors will not hold back. They're going to give it everything they've got here tonight. Well, this match has started, and you always love to see that mutual appreciation before the bell. Sportsmanship like that is something you have to earn in the WWE. I agree with you, Saxton. That's not just something you get when you walk in the door. A mask. Looking to finish this one early. Could have been a flash finish there. Vicious right forearm. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Wards off that offense from Priest. Oh, my Lord! Planning on what to do next. Uh-oh! No! You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. Just hot shot it to the outside. And Carl channeling his energy here. From the ground. Oh. Anderson can shine as a singles competitor, but what's the biggest hole in his game from your vantage point? Brother Carl's a lot of things, but big ain't one of them. If you have size or a power advantage, you've got to use it to your advantage immediately. And Anderson isn't looking helpless anymore. But Carl still has to do more to get this fully in his favor. Sweep. 
Oh, what a knee strike. And Priest's size and agility is negated as he faltered there. Can he do it here? And he easily stops the ref's count. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Hoist it up. All the way out. Plex. Elbow drop right on point. Firm control. Wicked kick to the face. Lands the elbow. Using their boot. He's returning fire. Oh, kick right. And here's a cover. And he is saved by the ropes. Shot after shot. Ooh, ruthless striking. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. Triple down with the tombstone slam. Tough loss to swallow. Yeah, Byron, hopefully this loss doesn't shake their level of respect in the ring. This loss has to be a tough pill to swallow. Yeah, Byron, I just hope this loss doesn't change their view on everything. Meechin ready to bring a beat down. Now she's still the head baddie in charge, but now she's also too sweet. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, representing the OC from Fontana, California, Meechin! You know, guys, what I like about Meechan is that she isn't afraid to stand up against the injustice here in WWE. Or you can call it standing up. I call it sticking her nose in other people's business where it doesn't belong. Well, we know she just loves getting in people's faces, and maybe, just maybe, she'll get in your face, Corey. Make way for the man. A woman who's done it all, but always wants a fight. And her partner from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. A main eventer, a former double champion, left WWE to have a child and returned without losing a step. Well, that's just the man doing the man things. Well, you could say that Becky Lynch has carved out a Hall of Fame career simply because she has believed in herself every step of the way.
one of the best women's competitors in history. And from Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly. She kicked her cape to the curb and found her true calling, grinding people into the mat. Perhaps the toughest woman in WWE history, and she's got the Hall of Fame ring to prove it. The weapon of mass seduction is here. And from Baltimore, Maryland, Stacy Keebler. The longest legs in WWE. Those kicks hurt. Hey, guys, I think Stacy just smiled at me. She was looking at herself in the reflection on top of your head. Stacy Keebler, a lifelong sports entertainment fan, got to live out her dreams in the ring. And let's not forget, Stacey Keebler has inspired many others to do the same. Here we go with the tag matchup the WWE Universe has been salivating for. Lock it in, the Dragon Sleeper! Uh Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. A running bulldog. <laughs> Able to get the advantage here. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Look at this. Snap suplex. Oh! Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. That's telling your opponent, you don't deserve to share this stage with me. Ouch. That's one way to get your shoulders down. This could be it. Oh, what a save. Corey, that should have been three. I couldn't agree more. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Placed in the corner. Uh-oh. There's the backbreaker. Right across the chest. And Molly Holly gave an opening, and it was capitalized on. Yeah, that's Meechin putting her in-ring acumen to good use. Oh, God! Face first with a waistlock takedown. She's that's able to get the tag by the skin of her teeth. or knock you out. Double underhook, suplex. There's a crucifix, nicely done. Ooh, elbow strike. Lynch with a back kick, uh-oh. She sent flying into the corner. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Then here come the punches. Just going all out with every blow. And she goes for the pin. Oh, 
counters that. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Oh, man, nasty kick. Forearm to the kidneys. Oh. There's a tag. And Becky. Double underhook. The armbar! She fights her way out of the armbar. The shoulder absorbing serious punishment. That could produce a dislocation or at the very least. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Oh, this she is in deep, deep trouble. She needs to find a way out. She's desperately doing so and successful. Escape just in time. Oh my God, big first right into the buckle. And will this be it? Our official just took a big hit. Oh, come on. Let's keep it clean in there. Oof, that can knock you out. Oh no, she could be caught here. Bad situation. Becky Lynch hits the ropes, connects with a leg drop, and more to come. Another leg drop. Ah, oh, and Molly Holly answers back. She's able to get out of the way. Look at this. Reversal on Lynch. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Tagged in. Able to reverse that one. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Lynch with a kick to the body, scooping up her opponent, driving her opponent down. Tagging her partner in. Oh. Ooh, what a forearm club. <laughs> Waist lock, able to counter, look at fighting out. Manages to fight out with a series of punches. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Yeah. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. And Meechin won't be having a good night if she allows more offense like that. Places her right in the corner. In full control here, face first. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Oh, just making their opponents suffer with their boot. Oh, absolutely punishing. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. Fights the shoulder up in one. Amazing effort by her. Sharp elbow. Measuring. Oh, face stop. And there's the tag. Becky Lynch into the ring. Kick lands. Oh, takedown. And now punches right. Oh, man. Knee lift. She's showing signs of slowing now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Elbow to the face will stop you, Cole. Being carried around with ease. Put down face first. This 
push their opponent's oh. legs. And, oh. that's, that's a free fall. Where's the honor in that? Getting set up for something in the corner. Inverted tree of woe position now. Impressive reversal there. Kick to the body, into the... Wow. Oh, into a powerbomb! to the floor. Me Chin's taking a moment to soak it all in. Whip back into the ring. Boom! Head kick connects. <laughs> Ooh! Smashing the jaw. Face first. That hurt. Meechin dodges out in time. She's pushed into the corner. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Boot. It's been an elacious encounter this far. And this has got to be it! Got it! No! Just a two! She just won't stay down. To that. There's the tag. <laughs> Fought off with an elbow. Double underhook <laughs> up and wing clipper. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. She's in a dangerous spot and could lose this. Yeah, she's looking drained, Cole. I don't know how much is even left in her. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. So she tags in. Press. Oh, what a knee. Oh, look at Becky. Manhandle slam. Is that what it takes to beat Stacy? Ooh, man. Tying up the legs here, looking for the death lock. There it is. This is agonizing. The death lock is in. Big time Bex looking for a big time reaction from the WWE Universe. Oh! Looking to take flight here. She wants to finish this. Take off. Whoa! What a landing! Took a leap of faith and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. And Lynch is all fired up now. Keebler needs to figure things out. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. And pull it. Neither competitor makes it back. We have a double count out.
Whoa, Bray Wyatt is straight out of WCW and Nitro. This isn't too sweet, it's too scary. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt reminding us of a time when the biggest stars called all the shots. Maybe he's suggesting not much has changed. If you ask me, the big names still pull the strings. Guys, could you imagine if Wyatt had been in the NWO? As if that snake needed more heads. Bray would have been looking to usher in a new world order of his very own. A class is in session. A man who has held countless championships in his career. A truly all-time great of the grappling game. Oh, good luck, loser. And his opponent from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 240 pounds, William Regal. William Regal is a multiple-time intercontinental and tag team champion, plus a former king of the ring. Not to mention a real man's man. I sure do miss that theme music. Well, I'm sure a painful lesson is planned today. Indeed, class is now in session. This should be an interesting match. Bray Wyatt is a warped, twisted man and a lover of mind games, both in and out of the ring. Yeah, you never quite know which way is up or down when it comes to Wyatt. And that's how he likes it. His mind, it, it's like an abstract drawing. I was going to say, like, a labyrinth, but I understand your point, Byron. If Wyatt has his way, this match will be more psychological warfare than anything else. And he's going against one of the great villains of this sport, William Regal. This match could be a Blackpool brawl or an all-out technical war. Whatever Regal's in the mood for tonight. We make a lot of Bray Wyatt's R, his presence, but when it comes to winning the match, what's his ace in the hole here? Power. Bray can hit like a tank when he wants to. All the spooky stuff helps, but in terms of him and the other guy, he needs to hold nothing back and let her rip. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. And a series of vicious stomps. to stomp in every single part of his body. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace, that right there is how you do it. In the corner. That kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. Good grief. That's a chop that'll wake you up. He's taking some good hits. A destructive blow from Wyatt. Able to parry that one. Lights out. DDT connects. Ooh. Ooh. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 back no. Back suplex. A back suplex right onto the apron. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. And planted them with a the well-executed DDT. Whoa. Big forearm. Bray Wyatt measuring his man. Completely steamrolled. Boom! Summon the sister. Wyatt unleashing some horror on his opponent. Some mental chess here from Wyatt. Big risk here. He may be counted out. 
He might be oblivious to the count, guys. You hear the talk in the locker room, the anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I know it's just how much they've been trying to wall up each other as of late, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Vicious reversal with an elbow right to the... Oh, there it is! The man of claw! It dropped in! That could finish off Regal. Oh, man, big time. Bray Wyatt on the move. Uh-oh. Knees up, got the knees up at the last second. Oh, oh close line. Boom. Vicious knee. Oh, that hurt. He just barely dodges. Is this necessary? Oh, the claw, not to the face. Where else would they do it, Saxton? Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Look out. Choke bomb. He has to be at his limit now. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from Cole. Really just laying it in. Specifically targeting the leg. And the fight has been taken to Regal. Ray really holding nothing back now. Ray Wyatt, oh no. This is bad news for Wyatt's opponent. Oh, how scary is that? Time to kiss this one goodbye. Close to three. Bam! Down he goes. What a battle we are witnessing. We're at a stage where someone's going to have to shift it into another gear. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Very effective. Oh, the point of the elbow finds the mark. He's absorbing some tough hits now. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. There he goes, right into the corner. Boom! The Gulak attack. Oh, looking for the regal stretch. There may be no escape for Bray Wyatt. Breaks free from the regal stretch. Uses the edge of the knee. And Regal is countered. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Will this match end on a submission, on a tap out? In this much pain even. And he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Taking flight. Cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. <sighs> Compromised position here. Running power slam. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Haymaker after Haymaker. And Regal showing that he's still not done going on the offensive. I think William has a window here if he can just find a way to take advantage. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. And he's taking this to the outside now. Oh, God. Bray Wyatt measuring his man. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. And Wyatt with absolutely crushing offense. Regal has to find an opening and respond. Hit it to the top now. Sky high. Well, straight to the floor. My goodness, that did not go as planned. Might have been a bad plan to begin with. 
Section. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Larian. Drop toe hole. Three. This is going to come down to who wants it more. <clears throat> Oof. Big forearm. Right to the back of the neck. Counter. And now there's an opening. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. All right, this one's over. Tap out coming. To the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. This is nothing short of disturbing. Oh, so frightening. So bizarre. So eerie. And it's Welcome only get worse. to Sister. Regal did his homework. And the WWE Universe continues to remain on their feet. They know it. They are with the... Listen to the WWE fans here. And that's what you want to see. Good sportsmanship after a competitive... What? The... Seriously? Seriously. What a shame. He is the longest reigning WWE Champion in history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Abruzzo, Italy. Weighing in at 265 pounds. The first superstar, Bruno San Martino. He is a mountain of a man and an absolute powerhouse. Yeah, speaking of that power, he set countless weightlifting records. Some say he's the strongest man on the planet. Plans on proving it tonight. Here comes the double champion. And his opponent from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion and the World Wide Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Wade Barrett. When you're a champion, you have challengers and threats coming at you from all angles. When you're a double champion, well, I'd consider sleeping with one eye open, just in case. I'm sure he's already doing that, Corey. 
keeping his head on a swivel. Standing tall with both of his titles, he's not planning to let go of either one of them anytime soon. Competitors don't come much tougher than Wade Barrett. You have to watch your back going up against this man. Wade Barrett is quite comfortable throwing digits and can just pick an opponent apart with his well-placed attacks. Barrett always ruthless, so smug. Sometimes he'll let an opponent hang around in a match just so they think they have a chance. But then he pummels him. And he has his work cut out for him facing off against the living legend, Bruno San Martino. Oh, yeah, because no matter the circumstance, Big Bruno carries himself with that champion's mentality. That unparalleled poise and determination in the face of all adversity. That's what makes him hard to keep down. into the corner. Boom! Right to the midsection. With the wind up and the double axe handle. Oh. Wade Barrett looked like he was knocked off his game there. Yeah, San Martino saw the opportunity and didn't hesitate. Just cranking the head. There's a lot to be careful of when you're in the ring with Wade Barrett. We know he has the striking ability and the technical skill to seriously punish an opponent. Yeah, but Cole, he doesn't get in the ring often. That's definitely something his opponent's aware of going into this match tonight. I fully expect him to exploit Barrett there. Great job. A bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. This will win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. Oh, the bear hug and a way to get out play right here. Oh, what a DDT. Wow. Bruno wasn't showing any love or respect for that attack. And Wade Barrett made everyone behind the mic proud with that move. Punch. Firing with a straight shot there. It now their superstar giving an inch here. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. Kicks directly to the chest. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. San Martino's focused. He's zoned in. Kick gets caught. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Way Barrett. Looks set to end this wasteland. Looking for the victory. There's two. Fights out at two. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Ooh, takedown. Big time clothesline. Good grief. This is a flat out vicious attack. Blows to the back of the neck and then just brutalizing their opponent. to show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. Boom! What a four. San Martino looks absolutely out of it. No, my, that was close. I don't know how he just kicked out, and I'll tell you what, I don't really think he knows either. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you got to do a little more to finally finish this. Blast off. How's that for a counter? Reversal. Can he take advantage? Point of the elbow finds the mark. 
It's not every day you witness a battle like this one unfold. Yeah, the WWE Universe clearly realizing just how lucky they are to be watching this match live. His opponent's about to suffer some bad news. Barrett with the bullhammer. Barrett might take him here. Shoulders down. Man, that was some win tonight. But I believe they could be hurt. Now, even the winner looking worse for wear after a brutal matchup. I got a feeling this superstar is going to be feeling the effects from this matchup for a long, long time. And all we can do in this moment is hope that the damage is not too severe. He's not only the king of Memphis, he's the king of all wrestling. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 235 pounds, Jerry the Lawler. Can you believe that Jerry Lawler has been competing in the ring for over 50 years. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. The King has been a master in the ring and at the commentary table. And even after all those years, King still has tricks up his sleeve and under his crown. Maybe you can borrow his crown to cover that bald spot. What are you talking about, Corey? 50 years in the ring and the King still has better hair than you. That's debatable. Dozens of championships won in Memphis before he joined WWE. He is certainly one of the all-time greats. Hey, King. The flying fist drop. It was actually an honor of mine, Corey, to be able to have uh, been hit in the mouth by the flying fist drop at one point in my career. Well, the King looks ready to deliver a royal beating. Maybe to you again, Michael. Or maybe to Cole, but King won't let you near his crown, Saxton. Oh, man. The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. And his opponent from Greenwich, Connecticut, Weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple H. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple time WWE champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down.
from degeneration X to evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the cerebral assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. The bell is sounded and the king looks poised to defend his throne. His wealth of experience gives him an edge over opponents of all different sizes. You can feel the energy from this capacity crowd. If the king has anything to say about it, that crowd isn't going anywhere. For years, legions of opponents have tried to storm the gates and knock Jerry Lawler off his throne. But his reign continues, except when he meets me. But when you're facing off against Triple H, the cards are already stacked against you. Yeah, the Cerebral Assassin has so many tools in his arsenal. So whether it's mental or physical, Triple H is sure to leave some lasting marks. Oh, stop right to the hand. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Evades their offense. Is a very specific way he likes to wrestle a match, Corey. How do you stop yourself from getting swept up and pardon the expression, his game? Triple H is all about the deep water. He likes to wear your body down because he knows once that happens, your mind follows, and he can pretty much do what he wants. You don't want to play that game? Keep up the pace and don't let him control it. Ah, uh, heel hook. Look at this. Ah, oh, that's so painful. Hard to watch, too. Oh. Ref, are you blind? All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Makes him pay with a counter. Setting up for something here. Oh, Ram face first. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. He knew that was coming. Oh, using the top rope as an advantage. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Oh, that'll scratch you. position to be in right now. Straight impact on the throat. Wards off that offense from Waller. And he cuts bait, slipping out of the ring. Shut up, Saxton. This is just a small regrouping. Answering back. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Uh-oh, captured. Oh, man. Driven into the knee. Start the count. Those punch nasty. Uh oh, captured, driven into the knee. Uh, and King fights back. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Elbow will break that up. Triple H hooks the arms. This is vintage Hunter right here. Pedigree. Trademark execution from the game. Two. He kicked out at two. Unreal. Unreal the kick out there. Not only unlikely, downright extraordinary. And you can see the gears in Triple H's head turning as he's racking his brain for a new scheme to get the win here. Well, look out. Uh-oh, position in. Measuring. Oh, knee drop. Woo! And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. He deflects it right back. 
Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Looking to end it here. This could be it. Triple H! Triple H standing here victorious once again. Triple H remains the king of kings with that big win. Ladies and gentlemen, when you think of WWE, you think of John Cena. Loved by many, resented by some, but respected by all. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in I'm at 251 pounds, John Cena! <laughs> Hustle, loyalty, and respect is not just a motto for John Cena. It's a way of life. He is arguably the most decorated WWE superstar of all time and the standard bearer of this company. Cena never gives up. Never lets the pressure get to him. Well, gentlemen, the pressure is on for Cena tonight. He's here and holding two championships. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the WWE Champion and the WWE United States Champion, The Undertaker. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two? It has to be immense. We have never seen a landscape this competitive, and yet he stands before us holding multiple championships. No one's in his league, and he's got the hardware to prove it. Two championships. You better believe all eyes are on him. We've really got that big match feel with John Cena in action here. Feel that electricity in the air. Cena brings that into every arena. He steps. Cover! One, two! Manages to escape. 
before the three count. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Working the midsection there. Oh, he knew what was coming. Cena turning. Th the bear hug. The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. From the ring. Floor. Looks like they do not want them inside the ring anymore. Time to venture outside the ropes. Running power slam! The key to taking on a superstar of John Cena's stature is to really study him. To devise a bulletproof plan of attack by watching Cena's old matches, you have the chance to learn all of his bad habits and figure out where and how you should strike for maximum impact. Basically turning all of Cena's in-ring experience against him. That's a smart strategy. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. This is just ridiculous. Look at the power. This is downright superhuman. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Thrown back in under the ropes. He's been placed in the corner now. Monkey flip! the attack just a smidge quicker. Caught in a bad position here. Long fall and even harder impact. And that clearly rocks Cena a bit. Boom! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Big forearm. Incoming! Crash landing! Powerball! Now that's what you call impact! There's the big boot! The better part of Valor. Somehow he saw his shoulders are down! Kick out. Staying in this one. Undertaker had that scouted. Drop kick. Oh boy, here we go. We've seen it once, we've seen it a thousand times. It always works. Look out. Driven down hard. Held in a perilous position. Got oh, right to the throat. Oh, that might have just broken something. Big elbow. Oh, God, that hurt. Uh oh. Great wherewithal on the counter. You can't see me. Oh, knuckle. Shut up. Here's a cover. Could be it. up the victory. Here is your winner, John Cena! John Cena walked through the fiery gates of hell and came out the other end victorious.
the toughest SOB in WWE history. The following champion versus champion contests is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, the WWE Undisputed Champion, Stone Cold. Stone Cold Steve Austin looks prepped and ready to stop a mud hole. The Texas Rattlesnake is ready for a fight. Undeniable, unstoppable attitude. We're about to raise some hell, gentlemen. Stone Cold Steve Austin may be the greatest superstar in WWE history in the opinion of many. Now Austin's opponent has a tall order tonight. And his opponent, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Christian Page. This superstar doesn't get paid by the minute. They just get in there, beat somebody up, and leave. That's kind of a miserable existence, if you ask me. I don't see what's so miserable about that, Byron. But then again, I see this superstar for who they are, not your projections. One thing you can't do, guys, is brawl with the Texas Rattlesnake. No, you're absolutely right about that, Cole. This superstar needs to rely on his technical ability and expertise because you don't want to throw hands with the Rattlesnake. And you can see it in his eyes. The champ is coming to this one focused and ready for a fight. The title is not on the line here tonight, but that is not going to keep him from keeping up the intensity in this one. He's only become more and more driven since becoming the champion, and we'll surely see that drive here in this one. But standing in his way is Steve Austin, one of the best brawlers we've ever seen. Austin doesn't waste time. He's not here to play games. He's here to stomp some mud holes and collect another big payday. Forget about theatrics or cheap intimidation tactics. The Texas Rattlesnake just wants to strike hard, strike fast, and be done with it. The longer this takes, the more fed up and the more dangerous Austin's going to get. I hate to expose Austin's weaknesses, but if you're facing him, I don't know why you wouldn't target the knees. Austin's career has left him with a lot of war wounds, and targeting them is your best bet at laying him down and out. Yeah, it's not a strategy everyone would embrace, but you can't deny it's effective. Stone Cold too slow there. Knife edge chop. Well, dodge in the corner. Oh, pendulum overhead kick. It's incredible, the inventiveness we are seeing. He can end it here. Just after two. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Oh, saw it coming. Shoots a half. Bulldog. Can Austin weather this storm, guys? And it's not pretty, but you can tell he's clearly been focusing on past damage that's already been done to Austin. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Rolling neck snap. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Nice counter by Austin. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. And walking it dry. 
And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. And Austin raising one up for the WWE Universe here. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, will it be? I think so. Kicks out after one. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. Attack to the midsection. Ah, oh, kick. Nasty kick. All over the face. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Attack after attack coming from Austin. Austin's got the pedal to the metal. Ah, oh, flipping the screw. Time to flip it. Boom, oh, switch. It put Austin down. Unbelievable. For the win. Two. An exhausting match, but a victory he'll savor forever. Here is your winner, Christian Page. No victory here tonight for Steve Austin. The rattlesnake got defanged here, and this might have just made his venom more potent. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 380 pounds. Dominic Mysterio and J.D. McDonough, the Judgment Day. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Well, they create chaos, and Judgment Day thrives in chaos. 
The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. All right, I love this guy. And their opponents, first from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 233 pounds, Sue Rick Lance. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. He has a big match ahead of him. Going to need a career-making performance here tonight. Hot Rod is in the house. And from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Piper can get in anybody's head. You're absolutely right about that, Cole. This man didn't just change the questions. He rewrote the entire script. Hot Rod is always ready for a fight. The rowdy one, the master manipulator. The man who changed the game. And he rocks a kilt pretty well too. We are guaranteed to have ourselves a knockdown, drag out fight tonight. I'm sure Hot Rod has some explosive action on tap. Here we go with the Judgment Day in the ring. This group causes chaos and destruction wherever they go, all in the pursuit of amassing as much power as they can. Judgment Day is a legitimate threat to anyone in WWE. They have the numbers, the talent, and they will smash any superstar in their way. Yeah, Judgment Day won't rest until there's nobody left to oppose them, until they have completely taken over WWE. Ooh, what a moonsault. Uh oh. Counters! Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Blood hole stomping. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Oh, the elbow connects. He's been taken hold of. Inverted DDT. Here he comes off the tag. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, no. Getting in position. What's he planning to do here? How do you escape the abdominal stretch like that? Head.
headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Oh, that hurt. That'll ring your bell. Oh, what a kick. Right to the gut. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Ooh, well measured. Tag. Fast press. Fast press. Get his press. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Looking wobbly in the corner. Set up, ready to strike! Drop kick! Cover, cover! Thank oh, goodness oh, for the teammate! Not just quite in time. Kicks to the face! Oh, man! Good grief! Turn your lights out. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Jarring impact. Lifting up their opponent. What's in store? Oh my! Discus punch. Tagging his partner in now. Face first. Inverted STO. Vicious right forearm. McDonough wasting no motion on the counter. Spiked with a urinagi. Deconstructing the knee there. Capitalizing on JD's mistake. <laughs> Boom! Oh, caught by the back elbow. into action. Nice Japanese arm drag. He's absorbed some damage already. An eruption of offense from Mysterio. Top rope, putting it all on the line. From the top, double stop. Can that finish Dominic? This one's all but over. Fade it out. Try to end it. He breaks the ref's count before two. Wow, I thought this was over. Ooh. Insulting. Stomp right to the gut. Added pressure afterwards. Ugh. And he sends him into the corner. From the middle. He gets tagged in. Hurricane. Uh oh. Able to reverse. Uh oh. Look at this. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Hits him with the counter.
JD. Uh oh. Bam! Canceling that move with a neck breaker. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. No. Oh, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. In off the tag. Oh, the clothesline. Dominic Mysterio has his opponent in place from the 619. Don't do it. What? Like a heat seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. Just disrespectful. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. Oh, and his aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Oh, impressive counter. Momentum is completely shifted to Dominic. And I don't see Dominic relenting anytime soon. Somehow, these superstars just keep upping the ante. And no one is backing down now. Not after everything they've been through. Elbow to the gut ends that. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Oh, and he's back in, beating the count. And set right into the corner. Uh oh. Gets him with the counter. Finds the room to land a back elbow. Oh, catapulted down on the opponent. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. He catches Dominic with a counter. Dominic Mysterio has his opponent in place. Great counter. Watch out. Piper might have something big on tap. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading, fading. After everything these two men have been through, will it end? And breaks out of the sleeper. You can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to erupt. Are we close to the beginning of the end? Sunset. Flip. Power bomb. Oh, what a kick. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Face first in the turnbuckle. Uh oh. Quick reflexes from Dominic. Up on their shoulders. It's a long way down from here. And a nice driver. My goodness. But can they turn that? Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. The next big move by Endless. The question is, who has the stamina left to pull it out? Uh-oh. Paying it right back with a reversal. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Lock face first. Oh, the moonsault connects. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, man. 
Nasty right hand. Panthers with it in Zaguri. Crashing to the floor. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Pop right on the stomach creates the separation. Challenge from Mysterio. Up and around, down with a tilt the world backbreaker. Tag is registered. Close line! Off with their head. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. In here. This energy is on another level. Capitalizing on JD's mistake. Oh. oh man, taking it to the trachea. He saw it coming. No motion on the counter. So close line. Uh-oh. Knew what was coming there. Uncorks a thunderous chop. Get to the gut. And a big right hand. And off the tag. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top. Able to get there in time. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. He's got him scouted. Dominic able to avert that. Oh, nice bulldog. Ah, Dominic gets cut off. Left by the turnbuckles. It's about to get worse for this superstar. Or wait a minute. We're about to see an upgrade in the physicality here. These two athletes exchanging blows on the ropes. Elbows now Ow. over and over again. Just punishing. Now what? Reaches his partner for the tag. Hot Rod looking to attack from above. He's reeling, slowly getting up. From way up top and down. Oh, stomping away. Paying homage to Eddie Guerrero. Dominic for a third. There it is. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. And Piper is being aligned into position. Oh, setting them up. Canadian destroyed. And they can't. 